ಕಾಂತ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಂಡ ರಾಧಾ ಕಾಂತ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಾಧಾ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ರಾಧಾ ದಾಂಡೆ ರಾಧಾಕಾಂತ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕರ್ಣ ಸಿಂಧೋ ತೀರ ಬಂದು ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಯು ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ಶ ಗೋಪಿ ಗೋಪೇಶ ಗೋಪಿ ಕಾಂತ you are you are taking care of gopi ka gopi yes. that is also good but you are radha kanta that the reason my worship you i love you i care you you know ರಾಧೆ ತಪ್ತ ಕಾಂಚನ ಗೌರಾಂಗಿ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಂದಾವನೇಶ್ವರಿ ವೃಷಿವಹಾನ ಸುತೆ ದೇವಿ ಪ್ರಾಮಿ ಹರಿ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ್ ಶಿವಾಶಾದಿ ಗೌರ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ತೃಣಾತಿ ಸುನೀಚೇನ ತರೋರಪಿ ಸಹಿಷ್ಣ ಅಮಾನಿ ಮಾನದೇನ ಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಸದಾ ಹರಿ ಹೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ nice to see all of our international radha dasi sharing gathering and love exchange so we have today two very special couples that want to share something and i'm very excited and uh, it will be so amazing to listen from the live experiences uh, and the uh, feelings so i want to ask if the first couple is I there already it will be uh, our dear madhuya lila and gola chandra from japan madhuya <laughs> lasam madhuri and gore chandra yes radhe radhe lasam madhuri 
アイドルです。アイドルです。ラデラデ、ウスト i ン。ラデラデ、ウスト r ン。ラデラデ、ウスト o キン。ラデラデ、ウストーキン。ラデラデ、ウラデラデ、ウラデラデ、ウストーキン。ラデラデ、ウストーキン。So, yes,、yeah. uh, we want to share something.、Uh, where to start? Yes. So, when you are leaving me and running away from me, that is a good point to start. <laughs> <laughs> you want to say something, Gurudev? No, no, you, you, t h e So, I think we are always living in the mercy, but sometimes we cannot see it. So, Since I became a disciple of Gurudev, I can now see when I'm looking back that my life slowly, slowly changed in a very positive direction. I started coming to Vrindavan first time for, I think, one month, six weeks. I was still in working and had a relationship and everything. So slowly I started coming more. Next time I came three months, then six months. So then the last four or five years I was able to be almost six months in Germany and six months in India. And in Germany, I was working a little and I could stay in India a long time always. So, already that my material life was very settled. And especially when I started serving in Jamdaha to Patit Pawan. I feel today that I got a lot of mercy from Radha Pati Pavan and Jamna. And I had a very peaceful life and I was somehow balanced. I have no responsibility. I was free. I could stay in India. I had a good job from a friend's company. Earning good money. So everything was flowing already. <coughs> so, but maybe two, no, now it's already a little longer. Maybe three years ago, I started thinking that my spiritual life is not really growing because. Gurudev is always speaking about relation. We want to practice relation. And if we not practice here in the material world, how we can have relation to Radharani and to Krishna? So I start thinking. Maybe I have to go in relationship to practice relation, <laughs> to become more tolerant. Because my life was only about myself. I could make always my plan. I had my money, my ideas. 
my schedule. I only needed to take care of myself, not to take care of anything else. I always kept myself free. And somehow it becomes egoistic. No? You have an easy life, but you don't care for others. You can do whatever you like. So from time to time, that thought come that maybe I have to go in relationship, but not very serious. And I never expected that it will come <laughs> so <laughs> quick then after all. So in 2019, in September, I, I went to India. And usually I am staying two, three weeks in Vrindavan, and then I'm going to Jamdhar. But that time I remember that I share with Guru if I want to go, what is good time to go there? And then we say, ah, not so important <laughs> to go there. Uh, you just stay for Kartik and like Guru Dev not show much interest that I'm leaving for Jandaha. Usually he was very happy when I'm going to Jandaha. Yes, yes, very good. Serve to Patipawan. But that time you say, yeah, 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 very good, but don't rush, stay here for Kartik like this. I was thinking, huh, why, why he's not so excited that I want to go to Jamba? So I stayed there and then, yeah, then I met my Rasa Madhuri and how it develops, uh, you see each other, um, some sympathy is there. But we could not communicate with each other because she not speak English, zero. I don't speak Japanese. But when we had our first private meeting, we decided immediately that we want to be together and we will fix it now. <laughs> We didn't know each other at all. I, nobody know the circumstances of each other, but from the heart, it was clear that yes. So I went to Gurudev. He was very surprised. Really, Gorachandra? He could not. He could not believe. Mm -hmm. So, Gorachandra related? <laughs> yeah. I shared that I have the feeling I have to do because of relation. No? I say Gaura Chandra and relation is unique subject. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> when you say that I have a relation, I was surprised. <laughs> Thank you. Go on. <laughs> so maybe because Gurudev, maybe he was a little worried that I could escape in the last moment again. He wanted to fix everything very quick. So he said, when is the engagement? <laughs> so then we make the engagement, everything. And uh, Rasa Madhuri, she was here also for only one month. That is already a long time for Japanese devotees, no? And then she had to go, and I was planning to go to Japan for three months then. Yeah. And that happened also. And I came back to India beginning of 2020 in February, end of February. And Rasa Maruri, she was supposed to come on 7th of March, 2020. But on 4, 4th of March, 2020, the Indian government stopped allowing people to enter because of Corona started that time. And we were very shocked no, that Visum canceled everything. She cannot come and 
it was big drama and yeah we tried everything to bring her here to Vrindavan and uh, somehow by the mercy of Gurudev and Radha Mohan and Prashant Bayer we wrote a letter to the embassy and talked personally to the embassy and I told Rasa Maruri please you go and you beg and you pray and do everything and finally and that was again one big miracle that she got as the only Japanese that time she got the special visa that she could come yeah. after the lockdown started she got the visa and it was my idea to say in the embassy to her that she said but I'm supposed to marry on 10th of March, Radha Mohan birthday, we said. Na? My marriage is already arranged and everything, guests are invited, everything is booked and we paid already everything. My marriage, my husband is waiting for me, I have to get this visa. That sto story she told to the embassy. And then she got the visa and she could come. And after she arrived, Gurudev said, "Now, okay, now you have to marry us. <laughs> you cannot only speak about this. Now you have to do us." So then we got married on 10th of March, 2020, in Mungia And I thought that this Corona thing would not last so long. And. It's really unexpected that we almost stayed then yeah two years 18 yeah, 18 20 months or so. yeah so i have to say that for our relationship it was a very good time that we could start to know each other and <laughs> to get in our fights and adjust to each other and this and that all in the protection of Gurudev yes and of course the time we spend in Vrindavan is so precious and I feel that I could more deep in my relationship with my brothers and sisters I know them all before, no? but not deeply. I was happy going to Jamdaha, keep myself little out of, uh, yeah, relations. So I am very grateful that I could deepen my relationship with Gopinath, Baya, with Rasa Leela and Shama Priya and Sharida, <laughs> Gopika, yeah, and all others, of course. Um, and now we are a little in separation, but that is also good. One thing I want to say, this is the beauty of relation. You, when you start making the relation, and if you make the relation and you feel the success with that, all be easy to make relation. Mm. But we do in our material life, we try to make relation with the person who is totally material, they suck us and they break us after fulfilling their desire. So we worn out so much that we are not interested in relation to listen the word. This is the problem happening in out of a spiritual life, mm. out of pure association. So relation once you success, you cannot live without relation. And this is the divine, this is the spiritual, and this is the pure. 
This is the strength that we have relation. You see, Jananda Maharaj and my relation is so big thing. We are one, so whole family of Japan and whole world, what I, my, all they are one. Right? It's all one family. This is the beauty of relation. Yes, Gurudev. Because this relation is because of Radha Mohan. Nisi Dominus. Nisi Dominus. The, the reason behind this relation is pure, divine, selfless. Yes, go on, sorry. Because I still my feeling on this point. This will be helpful to other devotees who is suffering without relation. You are also suffering. You see? You also suffer. And we all are suffering. We have to see our suffering and share, share that. Yes, that I will request you. Is it really suffering without relation? And relation, we miss each other. That's the point. Radhe, sorry. You say so deep subject of relation I share. This is not my day to talk. This is the only thing you talk, Gurudev. You only talk about the relation. <laughs> so. Yeah. Prabhupada, 22 times. Relation, relation, relation. So that was sticking in my mind and I was thinking I'm not developing because I maintain myself uh, independent. <laughs> but in love you want to be dependent, completely dependent. So, yes, <clears throat> what I can say after we left Vrindavan, we came to Japan, I also feel the mercy here is flowing, everything seems to be prepared. I mean, I could not talk to Rasa Madhuri, I didn't know her anything, I didn't know her background, circumstances. It could be completely disaster, <laughs> but it's so f full of mercy, everything. I mean, she's a wonderful soul. Now, <laughs> I, I have a house, I have a car, I have sufficient money, I have a mother-in-law, she loves me like mad, I have association, <laughs> I have service, I have everything. Mm -hmm. So. Surprising, but also not surprising, because now for... I will say, it's surprise because of your Eastern star. Yeah. Because you are so fixed with Patit Pavan that you and Ras Madhvi only fight for one subject. She say, I want to serve Radha Mohan here. And you want to say, fight with her, that I want to serve to Patit Pavan in Jamda. This was your fight. I see, this is the last Pavan. Mm -hmm. You show me. 
So he is always with you and he cares. So everything in life, what will happen, it will be a surprise to you. I and believe this that surprise, be. this surprise happened to me also. I never know that so many people will love me. It's a surprise to me that I love Radha more than all surprises start happening. Yeah. That is my experience. When I start serving Patit Pavan, everything start, start flowing without any endeavor. Lakshmi came, time came, service came, everything very peacefully developed. So I I don't know I'm fixed in Patit Pavan, but I have so much trust that everything will be there. It will appear. I only have to be uh, instrument. I only have to uh, make myself available for... for what Guru wants me to do. So, I tried to surrender that and I'm surprised everything is prepared. When we came back to Japan, we were in the, in the hotel for three days and then we went from Tokyo to Osaka. And Raza Manri, she told, uh, I want to visit one friend. Say, okay, let's go. So we went there, I thought I, we uh, will go to pr a private apartment, meeting a friend, but we came to one restaurant. She entered, opened the door and her friend is there and I was watching around, what, what is this here? And she said, yeah, this is my friend's place. She has this coffee uh, restaurant, little and second floor, some little apartment third floor, some yoga studio type of this. I have only kitchen is there, everything is there. I, immediately I think, wow, we can make programs here. Then Ras says, yes, yes, probably we can do. She not share with me before, but she already had little this idea in her mind. But surprising, now we are doing programs there. We don't need to search for a place. <laughs> Everything, car was waiting here. My mother keep a car for me. One staff member left the company. There's a free car now I can use. Everything is there already waiting for us. So I feel that it was time to leave Vrindavan. Something was waiting here and yeah, I'm happy. I'm very lucky and i feel also gurudev you never speak directly to me but behind my back you organize everything for me i know how you are working so you want to make strong fans for your gora channel that he cannot escape mm -hmm. so thank you gurudev i love you very much And maybe Rasa Madhuri, she also wants to share something. She should do. She should come a little more forward also. Guru Dev, I miss you. Guru Dev, I also miss you.
。グルデーブの顔を見るだけで本当に涙が出てきそうになります。I'm almost tears coming just seeing g u r d e v s face. I was very near to g u r d e v for a one year and seven months. I was very near to Gurdev for one year and seven The night time I was sleeping in the g u r d e v s room together. Never mind, you are massage or stay. g u r d e v no Asia, I'm not going to massage you. I did massage the g u r d e v s feet or a shoulder. グルデーブの笑う顔や歩く姿話し方そのすべてがとても甘いです。Everything is sweet. The g u r d e v is smiling, walking, the way of talking. Everything is very, very sweet. I'm going to go to the Brinda. I'm going to go to the Brinda. Sometimes I cry and when I'm thinking. About the Vrindavan, the remembering the Vrindavan. でも、グルデーブに会うまでの私は、あの、泣くようなことはありませんでした。But before match meeting g u r d e v I am not a person who is crying. しい感情も嬉しい感情も怒りの感情もあまりありませんでした。I don't have much feelings of sadness or a pleasure or the angerness. 私には感情があまりないのかなと思っていました。I was thinking, I don't have much feeling. でもブリンダーバーに行って、ゴーラ・チャンドラと出会って、たくさん喧嘩をして、どうぞ。たくさん喧嘩もして、怒ったり、泣いたり、笑ったりするうちに、だんだんハートが溶けてきました。After I go to Brindavan and met Gora Chandra, and we fight, and sometimes I get angry, and sometimes crying and laughing, and then my heart is melting. <笑> Gopika, Gopika DD, Gopina Tabaya, so she takes on a devotee that she nikakomarete. Not only Gola Chandra, Gopika got to get a pizza, a pasta, or tabete on a kai pani natari. Nadika to each other, ice cream, or tabetari. <laughs> and not only Gola Chandra, <laughs> 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 
Hmm. Not only Gaurachandra, is Gopika Didi, Gopinath Bayer, and also the other devotees. Like sometimes eat pizza, the Gopika made, or sometimes um, with Ladika Didi, eat ice cream. Sometimes went to swimming and then. Um, <laughs> so if I eat it, I'm in a river. I had fun with much fun with Radika Didi. I had fun with Radika Didi. I had fun with Radika Didi. I had I almost cannot talk I cannot talk English much but we we had fun like a children. So Brindava ni te atashi wa zutto jihi no naka ni eh nagarete iru yona sonna hibi de shita. While I am Brindavan the day is like flowing in the mercy. I still feel that mercy. But when I first came to Brindavan, I didn't believe ただ自分の人生に何が起こるのかを見てみたかっただけです。I just wanted to see what will happen in my life. もし私が全てを捨ててブリンダーバンに行けば何が起こるのか? If I slowed everything and goes to Vrindavan, mm. and then what happened? Mm. I, I quit the job and um, sold the houses. So, I quit the and then soon Gorcha I met Gorachandraji. So Imaja Taksano feeding Gatashinaka in Nagarion Narimashta. So now many, many feelings are flowing in my in my mind, in my heart. Mm. それが私に起こったことです。That is a story of what happened to me. うん。なので誰にでもあの奇跡のようなことが起こるんだなと思いました。So I think for everybody things like a miracle will happen. この私の人生が変わる一番最初の瞬間の日のことを覚えています。I remember that moment, the day of my life changing. ちちがなくなった後、おそらく4年か4年半ぐらい前になるんですけど。after my the, my father passed away, maybe it was about four years or four and a half years ago. I was living in my I don't have my flat and I was living in a share, share house. 
。そして朝から晩までずっと働いていました。And I was working from morning till night. 12時頃に、夜中の12時頃に家に帰ってきて、少しご飯を食べて、旅行になるともう寝てしまうような、そんな生活でした。When after work, almost midnight, I came back home and just a little bit eating, and I Go to bed. It's like a, my life is like that. So, I thought that I was going to be able to do it. I thought that I was going to be able to do it. And that, 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 that time, I thought I have to change my life. This is not good.、うんもっとスピリチュアルな生活を送りたいと思いました。I thought I want to, to live more spiritual life. でもその時はまだクリスナのディボーティーでした、私は。ラダラニのことは知りませんでした。But at that time, I was a devotee of Krishna. I didn't know about Radharani. でもその時初めて祈りましたあのクリシナに私の,その時は何も希望はなかったけれどスピリチュアルな生活がしたいと望みました。I don't have much specific desire, but I just prayed I want to, to live the more spiritual life. So, no, I t h i n k I'm going to be able to keep the key to 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 the k I believe that my tweet is somebody hears and take me to hear. That's the story. Sorry. <laughs> So, sorry for talking a lot. I think there's somebody waiting.、Sorry. So, I want to say some short things. So, as I described, I feel that my material life has changed a lot. No circumstances like wife, car, money, house, garden, nature, everything. <laughs> We are living in Vandavan for almost three years. And I feel also that the time we had is so precious and it will never come back. It was so special circumstances. At the beginning, some devotees stayed when Corona started, then slowly, slowly, devotees start going, going, going. We became less and less and less. And finally, there w a s like 10 devotees who stay a、uh, long time. And then for a long time, nobody came and nobody left. So we live there together like a family. And now I feel devotees start coming again. People we met two years ago, they again come back to Vrindavan now. So everything changed again. Everything is busy. We are happy that devotees can come, of course. But I keep that intense time in my heart. and I feel a little sad. I know it will never come back, but it's like a jewel that you can keep in your heart. And yeah, I will try to relish it over the years when I sometimes feel dry. I will hopefully remember that time. And also, I think. 
that now is the time to spend as lot as time as possible with Guru Dev, make a strong relationship, and um, yeah, we were lucky that we are so close for so long time. But now I'm also lucky. I'm also happy because now I have to practice more internally also the relation that is even more important for the future to make it inside connection strong. And the one-pointedness, I feel now here in Japan, when we have a Sangha, it's not possible or I'm also not qualified to speak like that one-pointed manjari bhav mm -hmm. sadhana. But Gurudev, he only speaking that in Vrindavan. And we always could listen that and could fix ourselves in that. And now I'm in a situation where I have no worries materially. Mm. I sometimes imagine, imagine you don't have to, you don't have to do anything for maintain yourself. Mm. What would you do with your life? No? Most people are active because we have to maintain ourselves. We have to earn some money. We have to pay the bills and this and that. I feel myself in a situation where I, don't have to bother about these things at all now. So what, what I'm doing with my life without any pressure materially. So that I want to use in a uh, positive way you know, for growing our spiritual life. Yeah. So, one-pointedness and, yeah, I feel also the way Gurudev is talking is only possible in Vrindavan. Outside Vrindavan is not possible to speak like that. It's the mercy of the Dham and the mercy of Gurudev and Radha Mohan. What I am telling is for the devotee, if he fix like this, with his saru, with his there, this happening, this surprising thing will happen in life. If the devotee fix like this, in his saru, with his there, you cannot fix without your saru to his there. And when you will fix, this is the result happening, what is happening to your life. I not say the other can do, but who listen, and they, if they practice, this will happen like you in everyone's life. Uh, Understand? I believe that, yes. I am sharing this. Every will be so happy and so surprising in life that they, they cannot believe this. It can be possible, not only in your life. Ras Madhuri life also change happen. Yes. And not only Ras Madhuri life, my sister, her mother life also changed. Yeah. yeah. Only when thinking becomes positive, it because of my spiritual identity, fixed thinking becomes positive. There is no false ego. There is no any disturbance happening in life. If not, then you work whole life, work and work and work and die. 
why you work, for whom you work, what is the result you get, nobody understands. <coughs> Thank you, Gurudev. Gurudev, can I say one minute? Yeah. Something? Gopina, I want to share. I'm trying to hold myself. It's uh, impossible when I see Gorachana Rasa Madhuri. <laughs> um, Gurudev said in the beginning, it's a very beautiful path of love and pure relationship. And I feel very fortunate that Gora Chandra and Rasa Madhuri are such a beautiful part of, of, of our family and they're giving such beautiful example that uh, beautiful example of faith, hope and love. Yeah. So why faith, hope and love? <laughs> so I know this Gora Chandra Prabhu for a long time. <laughs> We've been God brothers for you know over a decade now, mm -hmm. but um, he was always Gora Chandra, <laughs> you know. He was his he was doing it his way, and sometimes <laughs> he would come and he would go to Jamda as he explained already. So most of us who know Gora Chandra before he became uh, together with Rasa Madhuri. I always felt that Gaur Chandra has this uh, one particular bhav, which he also expressed himself, happy, sad. <laughs> <laughs> the happy, sad bhav, which was there in him. <laughs> but <clears throat> the last one and a half years in Vrindavan together and his relationship uh, with Rasa Madhuri and the unbelievable, beautiful seva they did together for Gurudev, for Radha Mohan, for Patit Bhavan, you know, brought so much in their lives, but also us to relish, to view that. And just one thing came to me that actually now when I see Phil Gora Chandra, I always felt that he had always this sweetness and always rasa, but he was missing rasa madhuri. <laughs> yeah. Now he has rasa madhuri in his life, so he's full of rasa. And it's totally madhur now, sweet and loving. And, and I see him, I feel like, you know, there's also hope in my life. That one day I can also live in this rasa and in this sweetness, like he's doing together with Rasa Madhuri. Mm -hmm. And yeah, just wanted to say this, sorry, I'm, I took more than a minute. But one last thing is also that for the devotees, I would like to just say that, um, they have so much love for Radha Mohan and Bhati Bhavan. They are actually sponsoring the entire year for Bhati Bhavan Seva. Wow. The entire year, they are, all what they're doing, they're giving for Seva. Wow. So I just wanted to mention it because, um, you know, this is a very, um, you know, very selfless in their service uh, for Guru Dev, the devotees, and of course for Thakurji. Thank you. Radha. Yes, and we have another, uh, we go straight from uh, uh, Tamba, Japan, to, uh, to Zagreb, Croatia, yes. and there we have a very beautiful couple waiting. Actually, we are now in... Yeah, we are now in Serbia, <laughs> not, not in Croatia. <laughs> we are traveling all the time <laughs> around uh, near and not so far away. So, actually, uh, we wanted to share something uh, that, like two weeks ago, we went to some friends. And they are actually Shiva Bhaktas, but we talked about uh, food and actually somehow we mentioned Prashad. And they asked us, they asked us uh, do we have some prayer that we do before we, are, we start to eat? And then we thought, yeah, maybe before we did, but now I don't remember, I, we didn't have you know, like pray before start, starting to eat. 
And before uh, it was, uh, some of you remember, Shari Ravidya Jal, Jodendriya Tahikal, that prayer. And they asked me, okay, what, what does that mean? You know, then I, I was thinking, I really didn't think about it ever, you know. And then I went to see this, I see, went to see the translation, and I was shocked, actually, how this translation is only connected with body, you know, just the uh, mm-hmm. meaning of the, you know, ab- about uh, that this body is network of ignorance, we uh, uh, senses are bad, this is bad, that is bad, you know, only focus on those things and focus on just thinking about controlling the tongue. And I was thinking, but where is this rasa? Where is this, like, feeling inside of this, you know? So uh, then I was thinking, actually, we both uh, thought there must be something for Raganuga devotees. Must be something, you know? So then I started to search, and I found two beautiful verses in uh, Radha Rasa Sudanidi that are actually uh, giving us a way how we can be uh, like grateful and uh, what can be our meditation before we eat and when we eat Prashad. So the first verse is verse 87. I will just read the translation. So the translation is, I will be immersed in ever new ecstasy when, by her mercy, I attain Sri Radhika's service, massaging her beautiful lotus feet while she sleeps and relishes Mohana's enchanting Krishna's sweetness. When will I be absorbed in relishing ever new blissful rasa by eating and eating the remnants of Shirada's meal, which is the essence of nectar? Yeah. So nice, so nice, you know. And then in, in commentary, there is one short like part of the story also showing how Manjaris are enjoying uh, Prashad. He's saying, the divine couple falls asleep. How beautiful they look. The maidservants fill up their hearts with the savor of this beauty and sweetness. Uh Then, then, they carefully let these lotus feet of their laps and get up to relish the ever so sweet nectarian remnants of Radharani's meal. First, it was relished by Mohana, Krishna, and after that by Mohini Radhika. That is why it is sweeter than sweet for the maidservants. Ah. Explain, the maids- <laughs> Explain please. <laughs> Just one more sentence, then I'll say. <laughs> the maid servants are immersed in ever fresh, delicious ecstasy, tasting ever new flavors in these nectarian remnants. So, first, actually, Krishna eats the food, Mohan. Eats the food, and Adika only eats after the after Mohan tried the food, and actually this food touched both their lips, and after uh, Manjari eat only after Radhika's lips touched. <laughs> so, but actually this food was touched by their both lips, Whoa. and it's so and it's. Like double, <laughs> mercy. double mercy, double prashad. Yeah. <laughs> double nectar. Double nectar. Yeah. <laughs> and this is interesting. You know, I, I was, I, I started 
from that time, I started to actually think when I was eating, I started to think like that. This was touched by their lips. Wow. And actually, it's really ecstasy in that moment. You know, when we have this yeah. meditation, it's not, it's not just food that we are eating. It's prashad that was touched by their lips. It was, wow. <laughs> you know? So nice. And one more verse connected, but this is verse 241 from Radharasa Sudanidi. O bestower of taste, Sri Radhe, I purify my mind, body, and words by taking shelter of you, by eating the ambrosial remnants of your food by hearing about your pastimes, by remembering the dust of your lotus feet, and by wandering around in your arbors, singing your divine glories and beholding your form. So, uh, actually, uh, Anantadus Babaji in, in commentary explains that uh, uh, firstly, by taking prashad, we maintain our material bodies. Of course, by taking food. And by purifying effects of it, we conquer over maya, which was stated in uh, uh, Srimad Bhagavad. But, and, and relishing prashad is one of the 64 items of devotional service, as Sri Rup Rupa Goswami stated in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. Yet, the attainment of prema in tasting the sweet nectar of the beloved, beloved deity's lips are the main results of taking prashad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Other results are simply uh, secondary factors. Yeah. So this is, you know, I, I'm, I'm now actually <laughs> have goosebumps, you know, on this, because this is so nice, wow. so, so beautiful. So we can always beautiful. have this meditation, yeah? Yeah. So beautiful. And actually, this helps us in our one-pointedness, that we are even when we are eating, we can be one-pointed, thinking about Radhika. You know, and one more thing was interesting that uh, when we were researching this little, we understood actually that in we should actually only eat prashad that is offered to our own Ishtadev. You know why? Why? Because uh, each Ishtadev actually infuses the prashad with their own bhava and mood. You know, so uh, Raganuga Bhakta actually should be very specific about what kind of bhava he or she wants to take, you know, absorb. Uh, because we are not eating only food, we are actually taking the energy and we are getting, uh, actually we are not getting mercy in general, but we want to absorb that bhava from our Ishtadev, you know. This is, uh, for example, Manjari will take from Radha Krishna, you know. But, for example, Ra Ramachandra Bhakta will take from Ramachandra, you know. And uh, we want only food that is infused with Mahabhav, you know, Radhika's Mahabhav. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, Mahabhava had one experience Yes. Like a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, uh, I had opportunity to taste Lord Nishinga Dev's Mahaprasad, and as soon as I tasted it, it was beautiful. It was just nectar, but it was so funny that when I tasted Nishinga Dev's Mahaprasad, I immediately started think, uh, singing, Shri Nisimha Jai Nisimha Jai Jai Narasimha Dev Praladesh Jai Apan. And I was thinking, wow, this is giving me the bhav of Narasimha Dev. 
And then immediately I, I got this. I mean, it's not that I will become the same Bhakta because of that. But for some moments, my consciousness was completely turned into direction of this mood. And of course, it it is also mercy, and we also respect that. But that's such an interesting um, example that it's that these are such subtle things and subtle uh, energies that we are get influenced by just by taking a certain kind of prasad. And then uh, we also read that, uh, like those in Vraja Bhakti, in Vraja Vraja mood are also all supposed to take prasad from Radha Krishna, from Radha Mohan, from uh, and especially Manjaris always are eager to taste uh, prasad only if it has been uh, touched or tasted by Shimati Radhika. Not not Krishna alone, just for instance uh, oh, prasad, yeah. <laughs> Sir. This is Mahabhava. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. So we wanted to share this actually well, with you. Now, so you, you see can... Mahabhava in the center Samadhi, Mahabhava make it this picture for Bhavandas Bhavaji Maharaj. See, he is the Beautiful symbol. She is very special. Special, all quality. Very nice. There he is. <laughs> if, if you can oh. see, there, there is also. Yeah. One more time. <laughs> very far, but very nice. Yeah. Okay, my Baba will there. come closer. <laughs> Just a second. Jai Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. She's my grandfather, Gurudev. Wow. He brings Bhakti, Mahaprabhu Bhakti in my family by two grandfather. Yes. Yeah, okay. Oops, just a second. <laughs> Here we are again. So I, I wanted to tell you, please try to have this meditation before you start to eat and during the eating and you will definitely feel that bhava coming from this prasad. I will suggest you write in Radha Dasyam, Dasyam mm. that everybody can know and try it. It's very good efforts. This is a research homework. How much you go in research and homework, in details of the subject, realization will come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Please write it. And who likes to meditate, they will sure meditate this. Yes. Yes. Very helpful. <laughs> Yes, I also like it that you maybe compile something from the two verses, like the, the essence that you were putting together from the All class. what he says, all very good. Yes, all that what you said and the verses together. And then we can also print it out and we have like an alternative to the the other Sharira Avijajal prayers. Then we have something, you know, that would be very uh, great service okay. for all of us. Okay, I will create it uh, with this part of the prayer and the part of explanation. Wow. wow. They actually, we already have it. <laughs> uh, not, not totally, not totally. I need to little make it better. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, Maya. That's what.
I just wanted to say one more thing to Gora Chandra actually when he was talking uh he was saying that this time will never come again it will come even better time oh, oh my yeah. glory <laughs> yeah. the beginning yes, yes. <laughs> Faith, hope, and, and love. love. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there, there, is, there is our dear Yashodama sending hearts to everyone because she is also hiding. She is also a beautiful gem. Who is hiding here and <laughs> is always attending all the classes but never says anything because th she's very hidden gem. <laughs> <laughs> but we had very beautiful weekend together because we all uh, also don't have much opportunity to associate with with devotees, with Rasik devotees, especially our family spiritual family so we made a beautiful opportunity which was actually very rare to meet two of them also uh shiva prada and uh yashodama this weekend and we were so happy we felt so much nectar and mercy through their association and i'm sure soon you will also be able to see them because they are very shy and hiding <laughs> And, and one more interesting thing that I want to say, how this Radha Dasyam and uh, everything actually it's alive. And it was, it is always interesting to see this. I mean, I've seen this a long time, but uh, it is always interesting that you see, you are, for example, talking about something. So we were talking about something. And then after that, Gurudev said that in his lecture. For yeah. example, when you have certain deep insights, realizations about things that you share and you come up with them during conversations, very often we have this experience that very soon after those sharings are being made, we get 
the same thing or the confirmation of it by Gurudev's words during the lecture. It was so amazing to to listen to uh, Sunday's uh, sharing the Zoom, and and we were just amazed to hear things during that uh, sharing because it was those were the same things we were talking about before, and and it's so nice how we can experience this that we are all on the same wavelength, and this is all guided by Radhika and her mercy flow. I believe that uh, Gurdjieff didn't just give us uh, Radhika and heart. He, he he put also listening device. I think he is listening what we are talking, so he's repeating after. <laughs> uh, uh, Narottam Das Pratna Sadhu Sastra Guru Vakya Chitte Se Karo Akho Sadhu so, real sadhu. Sadhu means who is totally full of istanista with Radha Dashi. Sadhu Sastra in the scripture and Guru Vakya. All is a one. You can feel it. Yes. This is a practical experience of this. A common one, you have to keep it like a one, it will never change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who is coming? I think, yeah, this is these were the two couples that we had. And if anybody else would like to share something right now, spontaneously from the heart, you are invited. I can say something. Yeah, go bigger. Yeah, go bigger. Actually, I was just sharing the last days with uh, Gopika. No, come here. Like we we have sometimes the tendency. Not coming. You say don't say. Sometimes we have the tendency to look for inspiration. Right? We look to others who inspire us in our spiritual life. And of course, we have all the sadhu and saints who are like our role models and we aspire, you know, to, you know, go in feelings like them. And sometimes we also go to, to other traditions, you know, and find. And the last days I was just feeling that actually, our brothers and sisters are the real jewels and treasure. There I can find my inspiration and there I can really live in feelings with them. So I was, I'm so happy for, you know, this way of sharing, which has been now been into practice for so long, because actually we are all expansions of our Guru Dev, right? He always says, also he, he says he sees in us expansions of his Guru Dev. So when we are meeting, actually, you know, and as uh, Dina Dayal Mahababa said, like so many uh, approvals come, no, when we are sharing and then Gurudev at the same moment or the next day or we read something or we hear Gurudev and it's exactly, the, you know, the identical thing we were just experiencing or sharing. And this is because we are connected with him and we're connected with the Guru Parampara, you know, we are so fortunate that we have each other and so you are really all inspirations to me and i just wanted to thank you for you know that um, we can really live in these feelings all the time and this is really the jewel this is the jewel of our radha dasya family thank you brother thank you also you know you are also inspiration to all of us
Chananda Maharaj ji, something fr from your lips also. <laughs> yeah, I'm just <coughs> hearing Dina Dara Babu and the Mahababa Didi also very wonderful explanation. So we we live with Baba. With Baba we get inspiration. And uh, we are actually instrument of our Guru Dev and Guru Manjari and uh, Shrimati Radhika. So <clears throat> like Lhasa Madhuri and Gora Chandra, they are instrument of Guru Dev and Shrimati Radhika. We are, I am very happy. They are they are in, in very you know they are they are seva for Guru Dev. <coughs> Just I also I become instrument for for Gora Chandra and Rasa Madhuri. I don't know. So I met Rasa Madhuri four years ago, I guess, I guess. <clears throat> At that time, she was just one ISKCON devotee introduced me. Or well, maybe I don't know how, but uh, so somewhere else she came to our Sangha, this Radha Darshan Sangha. So, and at that time, she was, she was planning to take initiation from, from other society. <laughs> and, uh, <clears throat> and after, after getting our, our association, hearing uh, our kata, and then she attracted our Guru Dev's, you know, kata and Radharani's kata. And then she was wondering, so what to do? I was, I'm planning to take initiation from <coughs> as a guru. And then I say, so it is up to you. And uh, so if, if you feel, whatever you, you are feeling, you should follow. And then, then <coughs> last the next thing he, she is asking me, if I come to you, maybe other devotee may criticize you. I say, no. Mm. You, you know, nobody can criticize me or even, even somebody criticize me, I don't care. Mm. So you just follow your, 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 your feeling. And then she was so sincere. So, and uh, she, she decides to follow, you know, Guru Dev. And uh, she, she has decided to surrender our Swamini. So, and then everything goes smoothly and nicely. So, and uh, she came to visit Brindaban and uh, she, her desire is so pure. Mm. So she was saying, oh, I, my desire to serve my Guru Dev. Then, after hearing this, her word, Gora Chandra heart is melted. I, I know Gora Chandra Prabhu for, for since, I don't know, maybe seven, eight years. We met in Mungan Raj Mandir. We, we eat together. We talk together. We are like brother, brother and sisters, actually sisters. And uh, whenever I meet, I meet him, Sometimes I'm asking, do you have a desire to get married? <laughs> he always said, no, no, no. <laughs> never, like this. And uh, at that year, when Lhasa Madhuri came to India, at that time I was asking Gora Chandra, hey, Gora Chandra, when will you go to ja uh, Jamudaha? And he said, no, no, I don't know, I don't know like this. <laughs> and then I'm asking Gora Chandra, so you don't, you do, do, do you want to, do you have desire to get married? At that time, he did not say anything to me. <laughs> you, like, <laughs> that year, I was surprised Gora Chandra did not say anything, you know? <laughs> and then after a few, few days later, hey, Jananda. I have, you know, I want to tell you something. What? <laughs> okay, tell me. And then, oh, you know, I have desire to get married. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your, 
Yo, last <laughs> Madri. And then I, I shocked a little bit, you know. <laughs> because you never, because Goran Chanda never told me about these things. But I said, but this is, this is also very good. <laughs> it's good. If, if she agreed, <laughs> and the same time, last mother also asking me, you know, about Gora Chandra. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gora Chandra, I know Gora Chandra for many years. It's so fixed for, for the service of Patita Pavana. I love him. So if both is okay, I am no, you know, I am no objection. Go ahead. If Gurudev also, you should get a good, good blessing from Gurudev. <laughs> like this. So, and then I know Rasamadri is so sincere, but uh, in Japan, she had sometimes two, two jobs, three jobs, working too late. I was saying, hey, Rasamadri, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, and uh, she has uh, one one apartment, but she has, she has many, funny, funny say, like mortgage. Why you, you, why you keep this mortgage? Just sell it. I told her, and Gurudev has also the same idea. And uh, she's so sincere. She follow our instruction. And some or other, she said it. So this all mercy of Gurudev and the Radha Moha. Mm. So, you know, actually, Gurudev and Radha Moha saved Rasa Madhuri. Mm. Honestly. So, and, and uh, I really appreciate, you know, because I personally, I cannot serve Gurudev, you know, massaging her, you know, his like a personal affair. I want, but sometimes I cannot do this. But uh, Gora Chandra and Rasa Madhuri, they are doing so nice. You do me. <laughs> you say, I know the best Katai healing. I'm the best Katai healing. Why you bother for Katai? <laughs> and you one day you do to me. Yes, but uh, you know, but the uh, I want to do like a personal seva, you know, to you. But sometimes, you know, so many obligations, you know, my my inability. <laughs> sometimes I cannot do I, this. I to me, I can feel it. Mm-hmm. But uh, my Gora Chandra, you know, my Gora Chandra and my Rasmadri, they are doing, you know, your seva, and mm-hmm. I'm so happy because uh, you know they are doing which I cannot do this. Mm. Mm. You know, this is, I'm, so I cannot do, but, uh, you know, they are doing on, on, on behalf of us. Mm. <laughs> so we are very proud for their Seba. Mm. So, all these are so humble and they, they learn everything from you. Mm. No, I'm no, no. very proud looking to them. All are in the same quality, full of love and full of humbleness. This I also want and to say. Always, <laughs> that is true. All can, huh? That is true. We are we try to serve to Jayananda. That is our position. He should not yeah. try to serve us. <laughs> that is not like Whatever we do, we only you doing the work in Japan, you plugging the soil, oh. you putting the seeds with Gora Govinda and Mahimagiri and all Kishori Andaka, everything. We only now coming and giving little water, but the work yeah. you are doing, Maharaj. No, 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 no. I, I, I'm, I'm serving you, um, you know, because Guru Dev's asking me to serve you. So my, my, my work is, is serving you, serving, you know, as a devotee. Vaishnava Seba is, is highest. That's, that's, 
I am lying from Gurudev. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Service competition. <laughs> Save us. Save us. Rade, Rade. Rade, Rade. Yeah, I want to add that short story with the apartment. It is really a, it was really a big burden for Rasa Madri. She has to pay a loan for many, many years and every month's big amount. And it she just put the signature on under the contract on 6th of March. And on 7th, she got the flight. No? She just contract and then going to Vrindavan. And that time when she signed the contract, she, she got the good money for the apartment. After Corona start, everything, real estate, everything collapsed. <laughs> Nobody's selling anything anymore. So at the last moment, she got the good price and get rid of all the problems. And then that, with the luggage to the bank, Signature for the contract and then to the airport. Wow. Like, oh. Big must, <laughs> big miracle. <laughs> Only miracles. Aruna. Only. And Very one surprising. One also, there is an Olympic game, and and the Karuna come. So yeah. Olympic game was there. So price was also very high. Good price. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Olympic was down <laughs> because cancer. Mm-hmm. So she is a so special Where to get mm-hmm. And her mother is also very nice devotee. She is my sister. You all have to respect like my sister. She's really great soul. Yes. Jayananda, he knows about her religion and he says that the people of that religion, they are very good people, actually. Ah. Yes. No problem. He is also in praying. Praying is the beautiful thing. <clears throat> so, you know, Arti time is coming <laughs> and Gopinaji is becoming nervous to go to Arti inside. <laughs> 